as we come out of the war into uh, 1948, the local authority were handed back to the fire services. And in some cases, um, there were local authorities, and inside those local authorities were works brigades. During the war, the works brigades were attending fires as well. And what you can see now is we have, if you can imagine, this is a complex of an industrial site, and we now have the car park of the industrial site, and one of our cars has decided to ignite. So what you're going to see now is a Land Rover from the Works Brigade that will now attend this fire to um, put it out. Now the vehicle itself is ex Cheshire. It was seconded, and what happens is a lot of the Works Brigades now will buy redundant appliances from the local authority. And uh, Cheshire, uh, this was at Marple Station. It's quite old, but it still does its job. Beautifully preserved for your uh, enjoyment. You know, these, these, these vehicles were built for a role. Um, a lot of the factory sites are very tight, very small, alleyways small alleyways to get down in between larger buildings for um, manufacturing etc and the crews were literally running out of their works from their jobs to go and man these vehicles to actually bring the to actually bring them together a, a body of people called the BSFA or the British Fire Service Association were, uh, was formed to, to bring these works brigades together and um, and to, to make sure that their training run concurrently with the local authorities' training as well. As you can see here, this point can still do its job of putting out a fire quite happily. The second appliance coming in is from the local authority. On mobilisation from, from fire controls, they will assess the situation and, uh, and turn out the appropriate appliances for these type of incidents. And there's no use. You can turn out the, the larger appliances, but because of the restrictions in uh, space, these smaller appliances uh, are, are invaluable for the job of a firefighter. You can get into, um, you know, fight field fires, horse fires, and stuff of those sort of natures. It's a four-wheel drive capability will help them to uh, to uh, maintain, you know, maintain a fire cover status. See this 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 vehicle here has got a self-contained pump. It's actually a light portable pump which is attached to a, a tank which is mounted midships inside the vehicle. It's able to produce a jet of water and uh, at the same time. The uh, driver will be looking for a next water source because obviously the, the jet is not going to be maintained for very long. What you would like to think is that the local authority will be backing you up with larger appliances and doing water relays off from the water source to maintain that water supply. It is, it is in the nature of a firefighter to be trained in such a way that he will never walk, run out of water. But to say that doesn't happen, it does. 